Hey Panthers, it's me, Miss Sarah, and to this week we're gonna be drawing a sea otter, an arctic fox, and a baby penguin. So for these, for these projects, you're going to need markers, crayons, and a Sharpie, and a pencil, and paper, and your imagination, and this video. So please enjoy, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, friends, I hope you are ready to draw a sea otter. Now, let me admit something, I have never drawn a sea otter before. Um, I was nervous to do this, of course, but I think I figured out a way to make it look simple and really cute and fun to draw. So here's just the drawing part of it. I have not colored him yet. My plan is to use marker and water combo because it gives it a very watercolored soft look. And then um, probably crayons or markers, something simple for the background. So I just want you guys to see what I have first before I start showing you how to draw. We're not drawing the whole body. He's just peeking his head up out of the water, waving his cute little paw. So the rest of his body is clearly under the water. So uh, let's get started. Um, we will be starting with the nose and then like this area and then his cute little mouth. That'll move up to the eyes afterwards. And then we'll start forming the ears and the rest of the head and body and the paw. So, here we go. Right about here is where I'm gonna put my sea otter. And I'm going to draw his nose first. So, kind of imagine right about here. So the nose is like an upside down um, triangle, kind of. like this, or V, and it goes in. Let me zoom, sorry. And then that's gonna come down to kind of a point like this. All right. Okay, so the next step will be to draw the two uh, like where his nose is, his nose and mouth area. So starting at the tip of this little point here, it's gonna just kind of curve around. Again, I'm using a sketching technique so that way my lines aren't too dark, too fast. And I find the right shapes that I want. There we go, that's pretty good. Then we're gonna add his little mouth. So that's just gonna look like this. <laughs> and then these kind of lines to show like his jaw or the, his chin area. Zoom out. Please remember to pause it as you need to. Um, I'm already noticing that I wanna make these a little bit shorter. There we go, that looks better. Just so it's not so giant. Same with this side. All right, now I'm gonna draw the eyes here and here. Um, they're pretty round, so I'm gonna start right here. There's one. There's the other. Notice how I left a space right there. I feel like that kind of helps with the cuteness of his eyes. <laughs> awesome. And to finish the eye, we're gonna add a sliver of white showing. That's gonna stay white. Then I'm gonna put a highlight up here. This is gonna stay white right there. And then the highlight. Awesome. Now we're gonna uh, come over to the ears here and we're gonna add kind of off to the side like this, near the eye, and then just connect it Sorry friends if I'm going too fast. So <laughs> 
And this sea otter is giant. He's so big, but that's okay. If I have to draw another one, guess what? I'll draw another one. Because his little arm is going off the page down here now. So I kind of came in for a neck and then came out for an arm. That's okay if it's off the page. And then right here, I'll be able to make his other paw coming up. So I'm gonna start with a very simple paw shape like this first, and then I'll go back and detail uh, the pads of his paw like a, like a dog has. Here's a water, water line. Okay. Uh, here's the big pad on his paw. It's kind of like an oval shape. And then we'll do the middle toe like this. And then another toe right here. And another, and another. I don't know if they have thumbs. They might. All right, not bad. So I have my sea otter. I need to add a little bit of water in the distance so it doesn't look like he's just kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. So I, since, I guess since he's so big, I don't have as much background detail to add, but you can always add maybe a fish jumping or a sunset or a more sea otters. When I trace around his body, I'm gonna use short, quick lines to make it look furry. I'm not pushing hard with my Sharpie. There's his little mouth. His little beard. And then his cute little ears. More short little lines for fur to show texture. And then you go through and clean up any pencil lines that you have left. To do that, use your eraser. Here we go, let's color him. Um, I think the nose might be black, so if you use your Sharpie, you can color that in black. Or whatever color you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the technique with the marker and water. So I'm gonna go through and kind of add some brown to the black lines I already have. So that way I can easily make the colors bleed together. So I'm using the same technique, pushing kind of hard here, but using short, quick lines to show texture. And I did a little more on his paw. Because even though I will be adding water over this, you'll still be able to see these lines these short ones I'm making right now. All right, let's give it a test run. Here we go. Taking my water and my brush. There, I love it already. It's exactly what I wanted. So I'm just using my water to pull the marker all over my sea otter. So I'm going, every once in a while, I'll go back and get a little bit more water. Oh, he's so cute. I love him.
Hmm. Now I'm honestly not sure what color his nose is, but I'm gonna put it brown for now. See how you can still kind of see the lines for texture? Oh, he looks awesome. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, then I'll go through and do some water and a little more detailing on his paw and throughout his face. So I'll meet you back here in a sec. Now that he's dry, I can go back and detail a little bit more using my brown marker, or if you wanted to add black to more add more dimension, you definitely can. But I'm not going to add more water this time. I'm just gonna leave, leave it the color he is. But if you wanted to add a second layer of water, you most definitely can. See, I did blue water, so I'm just gonna use the same technique just because it works really well for this particular project. There you have it, boys and girls, a, an adorable sea otter done in marker water technique with sketching with Sharpie. And I hope you guys had fun with him today because I sure did. And I will see you all next week for, guess what? Another art lesson. Peace out.